Hey, it's Ariel, and I want to talk to you about the colds and flu pack for this winter. The colds and flu pack is a great series of testing panels that allows you to check for a cold disturbance and find solutions or a flu disturbance and find solutions. So let's talk about the resources that come with this panel and let's do some testing with it. The first thing that you have here is um, the cold and flu process sheet. So I've already scanned this person and we can follow the step-by-step -step guide. The first part is completely usable without any of the special panels. So if you wanna get everything set up, um, you would do this. You would go through these different panels. They're mostly in the body section. You would go to today's stress, and you want to include everything down in the main hole tray in red and blue, but you particularly want to look for these items that are listed here because you want to use them specifically even if they're not red and blue for that person today. So this presumably would be someone with a cold or a flu, and we would want, we would want to include the liver, and the lymphatic system. Now again, liver and lymphatic may not be resonating for this person at this time, but we want to use it with intention for them for a specific reason. And I think we want to just clear this out to start off with. So let me do it one more time. Um, we're going to include everything that's from this panel, today's stress, according to the process sheet that is in red or blue. I'll include this. And we'll include this. We also want to include liver and lymphatic, even if they're not red or blue, because we're using them with intention. We want to maximize them if possible. Then we'd go to body systems. In body systems, we would choose digestive and immune, and then anything else that would be in red or blue, so the reproductive system. Then we go to glands. We just go right down the list and we would want to include the thymus gland and then anything else that's in red or blue. Here it's the pancreas, the thyroid, and the hypothalamus. Then we would include vitamins. Which is, I don't know why I keep missing it, vitamins right here. And so once again, we would include anything that's red and anything that's in blue. And we would also want to include the immune supportive vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin A, and vitamin D. Of course, getting enough vitamin D is really important to supporting your immune system. We know vitamin C is important and that regular table sugar suppresses vitamin D, vitamin C for up to six hours. And of course, vitamin A is a very important part of the immune system as well. Then we would go to the minerals and zinc and selenium being two instrumental um, minerals for the immune system. And then we would include these other ones as well. All right, so then we keep going down the list. Herbs, herbs that are really great for the immune system are amla, bilberry, and faux tea. So we'd want to find those on here. There's the faux tea. Bilberry, which is blueberry, which is great for the immune system, and as well as a lot of the other berries like elderberry. And then we have turmeric, which is right here. And then we would include these other ones, anise is for the digestive system, ashwagandha is good for the immune system. Just include as many of these that are in red and blue as well. Now we have essential oils, essential oils that are good for the immune system. Essential oils here are oregano, geranium, frankincense, and myrrh. So let's see. Oregano, frankincense, 
geranium and like oil of oregano is really fantastic. It probably just says oregano in here. These are, yeah, these are the essential oils. So it'd be oil of oregano. Let's see if it's, there it is. Okay. And then you would include everything else that is in blue or red. Now it's okay if you're gathering up quite a few items, that's fine. Those will go really nicely with the ones that you're going to get that are specifically from cold or flu. All right, so then we would go to the 639 from the Solfeggios. So this is out of the body system. And 639 is good because it helps with cell to cell communication. And that's really good for recovering from the cold. Cell to cell communication will help to improve the immune system. You could also work with, of course, 528. And you could work with 285 that helps to repair tissue and helps that would help with the nasal passages, with your throat, with your lungs, things like that. Then you could go to the flower essences and just include whatever is in red and blue because you always want to be working on that emotional body, need to support it. So we just go ahead and include whatever is in red and whatever is in blue. And then we would go to sacred geometry and we'd use a couple of key items in sacred geometry. And those would be the Fibonacci sequence because it's in red, but also because it helps to restore normal rhythms and patterns. The Fibonacci sequence is very similar to the golden ratio and circle is good for just experiencing unity, experience, uh, experiencing perfection, things like that. Then we're going to now go to the special libraries, which I believe have already been analyzed for the purposes of this video. And we're going to type in colds so that that panel comes up, not CODs. <laughs> All right, colds and flu. Now, if you have a cold, you use the cold disturbance assessment and the colds solutions. So we're going to use the cold disturbance assessment. Now you could stop right here if you wanted to, and you could use the timer which is this timer right here for a short session, and you could do a quick balance. If we do a quick balance here, then everything that's on the page will be balanced. So if you were really sick and your nose was really runny and you didn't feel good, you could just go to quick balance and work on this. Let's stop it for now, and we're gonna pull down our red and blue items and you want to take note of what you see this is interesting that the flu is coming up here you know the flu it could be like that the person is able to manage that particular infection and so it's not manifesting at this time or it might be part of the picture of what they have this flu is in cold disturbance because sometimes one thing looks like the other there's some overlap these are other things that are coming up rest needed poor breathing practices. So if you don't breathe well during the year, um, when it comes to winter time, you know, that can be part of the reason why you might get bronchitis or get sick. So it's good to know that. Um, these are different types of viruses, the H5N9, the coronavirus, you know, viruses are kind of pervasive throughout our system. Um, it's really about our own body's ability to be strong and resilient in the face of, of viruses. And so then we would work on cold solutions. So once again, right here, you could just stop right here. You could kind of notice what's coming up. And then quick balance, we could just go ahead and quick balance this. So again, if you didn't want to do anything else, you could have just come into the program, gone right to cold disturbance, right to cold solutions, and then go ahead and harmonize um, just on the quick balance. And then you just go to sleep and be done with it. The ones that are coming up here, sweet orange oil, wonderful for the liver, for the digestive system, for the immune system. Mullen helps to soothe, um, you know, raw nasal passages. Echinacea, of course, a classic one. Lemon essential oil, ginger root. Hyssop is just great for any infection. Elecampane, kind of a classic one for a cold. 
Um, let's go down to the bottom here. Prickly ash, good for um, immune system, peppermint, wild indigo, rose hips, wormwood aloe capsules, bitter orange oil, orange oil and lemon oil. The citrus oils are coming up a lot. Wormwood aloe capsules were used um, by Dr. Howard Dick in the 1950s, a classic naturopathic doctor very very interesting you can still sometimes find them online they're really really good for toning up the digestive system and also they have a little bit of a purgative effect and remember when the days when if you had a cold you know three generations ago any type of a cold or flu they would have you do an enema immediately or castor oil purge and the idea was if you purge the digestive system you may actually heal the cold something about helping the immune system within the um, digestive system made a difference. So that's for cold or for, that's for the cold. And then if you had flu, you would do this one. And this is a lot of the parts of the virus itself, as well as the specific viruses that are circulating this year. So we'd look up the viruses and find the ones H1N1, and you want to be able to put that into the tray in order to harmonize it. Now we don't make any claims about diagnosing or curing or anything like that but you are going to be able to take that particular ener energy and then harmonize it which is exciting and then you go to the solutions what are the solutions that you're resonating with and you can see all of these wonderful solutions you may want to actually get the physical solutions of one or two of them but you the rest you can just run the energy then we would proceed to progressive insights by going to the bottom right of the screen and we would go to progressive insights then we would tap begin analysis tap begin analysis and progressive insights and for this one we would probably want to do select all so i'm going to do select all and then since you're probably tired you don't feel well you could just set it for 15 minutes lie down and just enjoy we can't hear the tones right now but enjoy listening to the tones relaxing and taking care of yourself there's also a complete guide that comes with the cold and flu process sheet, and that is right here. So you, you receive that with your panels, and it explains a little bit about this guide can help you to understand why various frequencies are coming up on the testing panels. It'll help you to understand the root cause of why you might have gotten sick in the first place. Always use common sense, you guys, if you're sick for um a, you know an extended period of time if you don't get better quickly you know consult your doctor your naturopath your chiropractor do what you need to do to take care of yourself but the first line of prevention could be to start to run these panels even early on in the in the winter time to kind of you know begin to cultivate this and really experience support so um these are all of the cold and flu um herbs that you can look at and see what they can what they do what the different flu strains are what these types of solutions do and these are wonderful herbs and wonderful solutions and i would put all of them in there and i want to show you one more thing that you can do and that is after the harmonizing is complete you can stop say it's it was complete go back through this back arrow here, go back um, to the three horizontal bars here, the navigation bar, go to um, accessories and then export this, um, these frequencies to yourself. If you don't have a quanta capsule, you can get one for $49. Um, you may already have gotten one when you purchased your package. And now because you're sick, you don't feel well, you can just send these frequencies to yourself. And if you have a quanta capsule, you can go to the quanta capsule, which is here, and then you can check your email and you can import these frequencies to your um, quanta capsule. So it's really exciting. It's really useful. What you can do was once you receive these, you don't have to test yourself again on the genius these will all be pre-loaded into your capsule and so if you're lying down you don't want to do a lot um, everything is then ready so um, let's go ahead and take a look at this 
And what we could do is we can go to the top right here. At the top right, we can go to import the Quanta, um, import it. And then we can enter that code. So let's try to enter that code, which is this code here. See if that code works. And that's great. Okay, so everything um, populated. And now we tap over here, add all the items to the tray. And I'm assuming, you know, you're, you don't maybe feel that well, so you can just do it to the max 30. And every, all the items are actually in the tray. If we pop it up, we can see all of them. They've populated down below. And then we can just pop close the tray. Hopefully it'll work. And then we just play those frequencies and you're ready to roll. You don't have to test yourself again for a couple of days. You can just keep the energy going with your Quanta capsule. So this has been a video about the colds and flu pack, about the guide, about the process, and about how to make things easier for yourself where you don't feel well by putting your um, results from your genius in your Quanta capsule to keep harmonizing until you're better. Okay, I'm wishing you the best of health and thank you so much. See you in the next video.